The Fjorgan hour draws near. The Fjorgan hour arrives. It's back. It's here. Another day in the Fjorg life. What a wonderful Fjorg life it is. Fjorg in the morning. Fjorg in the evening. Fjorg at dinner time. With Previously. Fjorgs on an ice floe, you can Fjorg anytime. Previously, Fjorg went on a bit of an adventure to first visit the nearby town, then learn of the much nicer but much farther away town where Fjorg went shopping both for spiritual guidance as Fjorg has been able to conduct some ritual learning knows how to say hello, knows the generic sacrifice has some inkling of how to ask to sleep hasn't quite formalized it yet though and he's more gonna figure it out on his own or is he gonna need to ask a uh, no, real so, uh, shop? Yeah, that's uh, part of the learning ritual. That you get your insight, and then you have to go talk to a sage. Sort out the particulars. Fortunately, most towns have a sage, so... Not too hard to go out and get a learning. And more importantly, the, the benefits of those journeys that Fjorg sold much of his spare clothing, much much spare clothing and much in-place clothing, he got rid of both of his shirts and some other things in order to acquire a full set of regular quality axes. With these, Fjorg will lumber far more efficiently. The better to construct a home. Got three good axes. Three good and specialized axes. Real proper axes, you know, the ones that got, got a beard on them and stuff. Got that good carving. Now, in the process of doing these journeys and doing a little bit of emergency fishing, Fjorg has like knocked his sleep schedule 180 degrees out of alignment with the sun. It's fine. He'll fix this at some point. Potentially good times await for Fjorg. As we've kind of settled into reasonable routine, we're going to fell at least one tree per day. And there should be enough warm days in the year to have all the materials for the cabin and a bit. And that bird is still out there. Oh, man. Hmm. I see uh, you did a bad job of roasting a burbot. Mm, yes, we have one terrible burbot. Ah, it's still food. Food is still food. Ooh. Real power move for fishing will be when Fjord either makes or purchases a set of nets, throws them either into the pond or maybe venture off to some more powerful water source and Occasionally check nets there. Bjorg also got this nice basin. You can now make better use of sheep.
step by step, Fjork is working towards a more efficient life. Hopefully one day he'll be self-sufficient. The ambition I guess, to suffice. I guess he's technically self-sufficient right now, but... Question of how you know. sustainable he is. Yeah. We have this pile of terrible quality birch bark that Fjord experimented in carving up. Part of the search for some sort of workable trade good for Fjord to currency from. Mm -hmm. He is adequate at carpentry, and most crafting jobs are categorized as a kind of carpentry. The ones that aren't hide working, which Fjord is terrible at. Although that's something we can pretty quickly have Fjord do. Go and create go ahead and create some basic snares. The handful of terrible snares. Because even the worst snare will still sometimes catch a bird. Bird, hare, other small animal. And they don't take long, it's something Fjord can do while relaxing. Just set these up a comfortable distance away from where we're standing, but still somewhere that's easy to monitor. Also, as far as Fjord's prospects for the future, I off-camera quickly checked that the ground that we are on here in the Spruce Mire suffices to search for bog iron. So someday, if Fjord is able to survive as a fishman and build a house and what have you, we could one day construct a forge. Nice. That's free iron for you, Jim. Take our good lad who has great difficulty staying awake through the felling of a single tree and have him pick up a hammer and work iron. Mm -hmm. He'll be fine. He'll be all right. It's free iron for you, Jim. Sure, you have to smelt it yourself, but it's free iron. You gotta rip it out of the swamp, but the iron is free. If we had nets, we'd be able to start passive fishing. You just throw them out into water and then check them every day or so. Too early and they won't have accumulated anything. Too late and the fish will already be dead and rotted. And not in, like, the useful way. And you can catch much larger batches of fish in a net. All right, some roaches. 
just spending a day fishing will probably do all right for getting Bjorg back in line. Old Pike. A second full pike. Yeah, that'll do. That's... Yeah, that's 14 pounds of fish. 16. That, that's plenty of... That's a good fraction of a fjord in fish. Throw back our commission fee to the lake and the fire started. Yeah, definite improvement on capacity with the uh, with the wood base in here. We have like a full day of beverage. Just some slight shenanigan about the way the mechanics behave. That when you when you milk an animal, you just fill whatever container you use. Are there this fire? Yeah, an hour. We get a decent amount out of just a pile of kindling. Enough to cook a thing. Already results. Our first successful catch. So it's in the trap right now, but it is alive. These snares aren't particularly deadly. The Fjord does need to subdue the animal before it escapes. Give it a quick bop on the snout. Well, to the thorax, apparently. You know, the bird thorax. Actually, now that it's already unconscious. Yeah, just start punching it. Just to demonstrate that sadly punching is is useless. York managed to have a glancing hit on an unconscious bird. Oh, 
Finally did. Alright, let's butcher that. Not a particularly large bird. And we get to reuse the snare. Dork would probably be able to retrieve more meat from a given target if he were a less terrible butcher. Whatever skill butchery falls under. I would imagine knives are involved. By the way, we have some bird meat. Excellent. Oddly enough, no feathers retrieved from butchering an entire bird. All right, during the middle of the day, definitely don't need to have the entire fur coat on. At some point, it'll be warm enough that we can just kind of just kind of go. So, early afternoon, fatigue is cooled off. Let's make more cord. Or not, since we yeah, fire's burned out. Fish are ready, though. Oh, we got another bird. Nice of it to sit still. Fjord, Fjord, get up, get up, Fjord, free bird, Fjord, Fjord, come on, you got this. Bludgeoning with the knife out of the expectation that it might help with the, uh, the amount of material that survives. That would make sense. I mean, you'd 
You need a real sharp knife to actually... Or be good or with a knife in order to... Yeah. Very precisely kill an animal without ruining all its bits. Yeah. And there's a, there's a reason why, when hunting, you pretty much always want to kill in one, you know, one shot. Or even better, uh, you know, persistence hunted, in which case you're not actually ruining the meat at all, aside from working it the hell out. Okay. Too tired to butcher this bird. There we are. There's the Fjord, I remember. There's the Fjord. Had enough in him to defeat the bird. Come on, Fjord, you got this. Just stay awake for the whole... Come on. Nope. Nope. Completely. Alright. Maybe a quick nap here next to your prey. Okay. The rain woke him up. Is, is the carcass still good? Still good. Still very good. Seven cuts of meat off that bird. Well done. Snares are a very good survival investment. Very little material cost to get them started, and then look, already we've caught another thing over there. What do we got in this snare? Another bird. Caught a raven. Nice. Bjorg, destroy this crow. I, I don't recommend eating raven, but, I mean, I'm not in control of Bjorg. Perfectly good sacrificial meat. Ah, oh, yeah, if you can sacrifice, that's good, too. This, which even while caught in the snare, is too nimble for Fjord to strike. There we go. Yeah, weirdly, the repeat action slot over there doesn't... It doesn't buffer attacks. You have to enter your full attack sequence each time you want to hit a thing. Two edible cuts of raven meat. Yeah, just give that all out to the spirits. I ain't got enough fire to roast all that bird. If you're extremely tired at around midnight. 
pretty good place to be. And awake at noon. Okay, good start. Let's be a bit closer to being back in alignment with nature. Perhaps there'd be some strategic benefit to a nocturnal fjord. A fjord that works at the night, huh? Fjord of the evening. Yeah, the standards I mean, are working in, pretty good. In Finland, Fjord of the Evening would be a lot of time half the year, wouldn't it? I mean, it's, it's night for a long time up north. All right, so I have 12 logs. So today's tree will be split into boards, and then we will start building the rest of the corner of the house. So I'd like to get the corner up so I can get a tile of floor and ceiling, and then put the fireplace on it. Since we don't have food preservation up, I'm not going to fight too many birds. I'll let some of them get away. Give him a quick punch. And for boards, I want the splitting axe. Twenty boards of mostly terrible quality, but twenty boards. It only took an hour and a half. High efficiency fjord. I believe the cellar also does a little bit to preserve food on its own. Mostly it's storage. That's what it's providing for us. Keeping a box of seeds in there.
This bird has stayed snared all day. You escaping or not, bird? Surviving indefinitely is the end game. I think we'll put a, a wall segment with a window in the middle of each non-door side of the house. So we have some good visibility. Door will face east toward the pond. The first tick of progress. It begins. Up in the small hours. It's fjord mostly back in line with normal sleep. The following day, that bird is still there. Maybe it can't escape. It has accepted its new life in the snare. We have entered the early month of seed time, so it is May. Spring is firmly upon us.
So I'm catching too many birds. I'll hold off on that snare. Birds are only a nuisance. We've sent a message. All right, so let's take these six poor boards. Worst of all boards. Boards that are barely boards. They go over here and become firewood. And let's see, for an interior house square. Six boards per tile. Leave yeah, 12 of these here and skim two off the side. Those will attempt to make more traps for sale. Also useless. These will be yeah. At lowest quality, no one will accept those as currency. Turn firewood into firewood. Which is fine. We could also try to use them as further traps, but we haven't seen any signs of medium animals out here. Mostly bird in wood swamp.
Good to see we have so many berries around. There will be plenty to scavenge in the mid-season. Ah, berries. Plant meal. Land meat. Edible wood. Truly bound. Tr Truly, wood's harvest is what keeps us going. Above all else, remain friend to the trees. The trees are your lifeblood. This would be the correct month to start trying to do a little bit of agriculturing. If we wanted to put those turnip in the ground. Well, yeah, I'm assuming since it's seed time month. You have a prepared space for it. I could torch a couple of squares here and start a garden. Just make sure it's controlled. Yes. Don't want to set the entire forest on fire. Yet. For now. I'm sure one day we will full boat murder it and just flood the world with magma, but then for now, we want it to stay nice and survivable. Jorg has managed to tire himself out by afternoon. Yeah, that's, a, that's what my snares would be good for. I set up the garden that could attract many animals, especially with turnip. Turnip is very popular among, like, deer, elk, bear, many woodland creatures. But I can plant my garden as bait. Now, it's also unclear how much fire is necessary. If any amount of scorching will do, or if there's a minimum quantity of ash that you need to put in. The bookie has recommended amounts of wood to pile up, but that's for like creating a self-sustaining fire, so you only need to light the corner, and it will spread around across the rest of your fuel. Right. Which is great for when you start doing really big fields. Jorg is only doing small scale experimental gardening. Should maybe step in here and light the middle one. It's also small fires like this might not even be powerful enough to spread into adjacent tiles. Go get my shovel. Now 
Man, I don't even know how many seeds are in this box. It is just called Box of Seeds. Here are our five farming verbs. Prepare, plant sow, harvest, thresh, grind. Go ahead and preemptively collect my snares. Wait, how do I unset snare? Not grab. Not step onto it and pick it up. Oh, step on, step away, and then pick up, okay. Snares are entirely harmless to large animals, such as human. means they can also serve as a detection system. Want to check if there's traffic in an area. After breaking up three tiles of soil, Jorg falls unconscious. Excellent. The following morning, Jorg's farm adventure continues. Now, when will ground be cold? Hmm. 
Mm. Good old cold ground. And I plant in warm ground. He's over here for when it's time to build more fence. No, wait. Not want to shove these into the tree. They were fine where they were. Right, holding off on felling more trees in order to finish building more wall first. Since also if something terribly disrupts our time budget, we can always cut back on ambitions and build a smaller cabin. It's true. Nothing saying you have to have a giant, super nice cabin. You could just have a smaller, reasonable cabin. Smaller cabin that can then be the foundation of the larger cabin in the future. We've committed to having three tiles vertical for internal space wide north to south but we could always make it you know only too deep of all the way over beep Dirt's still warm. Still too warm. Probably when the uh, when the scorch marks clear is when it's ready to go. That'd be a sensible indicator. Go ahead and retrieve these other snares.
Uh, Fjord does not have the patience to untie a snare, so he just stomps it. He's made it about two-thirds of the way through building this wall segment. Fjord actually gained a little bit of trapping skill. Third wall. Actually, wait, I put this in the wrong spot. Where I wanted door to be. It throws me off because there's this this amount of trailing log off of the corner that kind of creeps into the next tile. There. That's where that's supposed to be.
Get a little note here about Put a fire, let it burn out. An unburnt down fire, prepare soil. Takes a day or so for ground to cool. So says the wiki. Maybe if I walk away. Spend a moment out of there, let it unload and then load back in. No one. Weird. Okay, doing that I may have just destroyed my seeds, or maybe this was a box for seeds which didn't contain any seeds. Ah. Hmm. Maybe? Maybe. Well, now I have this box. Nice. Perfectly good box. No problems with the, just getting a free box. Alright, grab the rope. Get our extra set of pants. Go visit the neighbors. Try to buy actual seeds. Old man Samson is looking for a helper. Hmm. Fjorg's old man Samsa thinks Fjorg knows anything about herbs. Good luck, old man. 
I would not trust medicinal herbs retrieved by Fjord. Fjord does not herb. Fjord is not for health. What is the planting season for bean? When do you bean? It is when the whittle we... of beans. When do we freak these beans? Sprout in April, harvest in July, wither in November. So there are a spring planting thing, mm -hmm. and then you harvest in summer 110 Weird. days to produce bean that's pretty quick on the bean turnaround you know i would like to purchase bean Bean me up, friend. Oh. Alright, so something I misinterpreted about way the last time I visited this village, I did a favor for somebody, and they said the reward would be, I think, like five fox pelts or something like that. But what they meant was that much worth of something in the village prepaid for oh nice we actually just grab some stuff so those other two bags were flour which is not plantable so we're not terribly interested in that and we also don't have if we had the necessary infrastructure we could attempt to bread from that flour get this net Six squirrel. Yeah, that might have been what it was. Offer up rope. Nets are very expensive, even low quality nets.
Alright then, let's do without. We are now owners of Beaten. And there's some wild hemp. Hmm. Finally. Bean haver. Wild hemp and wild flax in these fields by the village. Flax is known to us. Hemp is known to us. Hemp and flax is known. Wow, alright. And some wild That's... bean as well. I mean, yeah, flax is hard to turn into anything useful. But it, the things you can get out of it are super useful. Yeah, that's potential cloth. Fjord does need to replace all his winter clothing before frostbite returns. Potential cloth? Potential food? Flaxseed is edible. Um, potential oil? Linseed oil is really good. That's used for finishing wood. That's really valuable, you know? That's respect to wood. Alright. So we stow the beans, and then someday, when the magma dirt over here finally cools down, <laughs> very powerful hot. soil we've created. Has it been days and it's still hot? It has been days. Bjorg, what did you burn? What is this swamp made of? <laughs> is, is this a peat swamp? And that's like still smoldering? Fjorg has been surrounded by tar this whole time. Fjorg knows how to do the asphalt, uh, asphalt to lava technique. It's a powerful move. Mm hmm. Place the shovel near the field. I didn't sell the pants, so those will just stay here. It did let me prepare all of the soil. You can see when he's not looking at it. Soil is different now. That soil is going to be full of nutrients from that wood, you know? That radioactive soil. more material to our pile of birch bark.
get back into our coat, be immobilized by the weight of our coat. Several minutes later, work up the energy to crawl over into the shelter and sleep. All right, there we go. And a bunch of our fish has gone bad. As happens. Fortunately, food that is no longer suitable for humans. Still plenty good to attract animals. I don't think there are many small creatures that will be interested in all this rotting meat, but who knows. Alright, planting is a nice painless task. And we had more than enough bean for our for our experimental micro garden. We've established the potential for being. If Yorg survives the next 110 days, we will witness the results of being. The true being. Be responsible, I should uh, get fresh fish. Prep all the fuel for a quick roast.
Spike, what's up? There we go. You know what, I, yeah, I'm going to keep carrying the paddle around for convenience. Just wield that. Perfectly good bludgeon. Ah, Fjord. Maskers, when did you get back in there? dealing with larger creatures, the generally most effective trap is to just dig a pit. Of course, that is another demand on Fjorg's limited stamina. I don't believe Fjord has encountered any animal larger than a bird. Wood Swamp is kind to him. Relatively safe.
there, a whole additional arrow. As we're sometimes able to achieve. We'd probably get more use putting all these rotting meat into the field. I don't think that's a mechanic in the game. Actively fertilizing by other means. Continued fishing, hoping to find something smaller for a convenient sacrifice, and instead the lake gave me even larger fish. Thanks, well, Link. May as well sacrifice one anyway. Of course. Yeah. The lake tips generously.
Alright, so having these on hand will enable a couple more, like, solid days of chipping away at the house. The outer shell is the most expensive part in terms of labor. The interior is much faster to build. The interior and the door, eventually. So it takes a clean four hours of rest to reload a fjord. There we go, even in that scrap of time already, that was mostly done. About half. There. Progress. York has two walls around him and a roof over his head. Wonderful. He's got a lean-to. Nice. But, like, tall. A stand-in. Yeah. A st yeah. And to just, at very least, declare the existence of this thing, I'll go ahead and initiate the fireplace. There it is. There's the pile of rocks that will become the stove. It's a good start. Foundations of the Fjord home.
Once the hut is complete, we can disassemble the shelter and start doing a bit better to fence in like our immediate property and start actively preserving food for longer term use of Jorg's next summer jobs once he has a completed house if there's any summer left once he's completed the house will be stuff like buy replacement clothing well buy or make replacement clothing accumulate firewood store a food surplus Oh, we caught a bird. This, well, oh yeah, that's uh, that is a grouse, and we baited that with uh, with caper. Nice. It is not a cannibal bird feasting on the flesh of its fallen brothers. I bet it would, though. You know, given the chance. Birds would. Yeah. All right, stomp seemed to work pretty well. Snares doing their important work of protecting our bean. Animal fat can be rendered into various edible things, used in recipes. You just won't get appreciable amounts of it out of non-large animal. Assembling the fireplace doesn't need any tools. You, it's, it's a pile of rocks. Fortunate. Although perhaps counterfortunate since Fjord can't leverage having good tools to make it easier. There is no shortcut to creating a pile of 40 stones.
Mud is strangely absent from the technologies on display here. It's just not good usable mud, you know? It's not real building mud. I guess just not a lot of primitive ceramic ware in old Finland. Mm -hmm. It is done. Behold, the stove. Nice. So what this will do for us immediately is when you light a fire in this thing, it's more expensive to start the fire, but the stove will remain warm for some time after the fire is burnt out. So it's still a usable cooking surface for a bit afterwards. And once we have a building enclosed around it, the building will become warm for some time after fire has occurred, and then that lets us make a smokehouse. So next step would be yeah, finish the front wall. Wall here, want a door there, and then the existence of these three tiles together would give me all the critical mass I need to build the rest of the interior, then start sealing off wall around it. We only need several lumber. Also, go ahead and allocate all the needed material for the interior. Two and six, so that's another floor tile there already paid for. Two more tiles there. So ten more slim trunks. And then many board. But only like two trees worth of board if I don't care about quality, which I don't think the building does. No quality rating on architecture, it just is. I have heard said that the incantation audio for the rituals is a combination of actual Finnish and some gibberish. Nice. That's ideal, isn't it? Spoken very quickly. That, that's how you do magic words. Half language, half, you know, spiritually awakened rambling. That's how you become one with the forest. You're speaking the language of the forest. That's how it works. The trees have many loan words from your own tongue. Oh yeah, absolutely. But they've also got a lot of words just for themselves. They don't have words for the things humans invented. Two 
grab the carving axe and get it out of the way of the worksite. I think I'll do most of my logging in this direction to start. Northwest. Pretty good tree density here. Plenty of trees and predominantly spruce. Don't have to worry about it. I'm gonna try to leave, you know, a couple of birch, a couple of alder sitting around. For anything that requires them specifically. Once we have house, I can also move the sheep indoors. Keep it safe from... We haven't seen a wolf yet in the months that we've been here, but who knows, one could appear. And there's also the other big, consistent, seasonal danger of... Winter is raiding season. Here in the warm months, all the uh, all the fearsome folks way off over this way in the rude tribe. You know they're busy farming, building, making use of all of the slaves that they capture during raids at other times of the year. Only once things get cold, that they get bored and go out, go cause problems for the neighbors. Need just like two more slim trunks for the floor, and it's all board. And of course, many, many log. Sixty six more logs to achieve the full ambitions of the Fjord home. Feel unity with the world. Another cold and vigorous day.
find better progress. A little bit at a time, Jorah will carve his place in the Unreal world. Jorah. Bjork.